Hi there. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace ink cartridges in a HP OfficeJet 8015E. Now, this is nice and simple. We're done from the printer itself without needing to involve a PC or laptop. Now, rather than run through the process using the touchscreen over here, we can just do it all on the printer. And any cues are given automatically by the opening bits. So, the first thing we need to do is pull down this little facade in the front. There's a little recess here so you can get your fingers in. Pull that down. You can hear the printer knows what we're up to. And if we get our hand in this nice little gap here, lift it up gently, just for a little resistance. But when it's in the correct position, you'll hear it lock like that. Now, as you can see, the printer's clocked what we're doing. And let's move the ink cartridge cradle into the correct position so the cartridges are lined up with the colors shown here. So let's get a little closer. And as you can see, everything's lined up here. Fully installed, we've got the smaller of the black cartridges in there, but the process remains the same. So just pull out any old color, I'll do cyan. For demonstration purposes, what I did was I pressed down on that little clip there to get it loose and just lifted it out so it doesn't catch on that little shelf bit there. Take your old cartridge away, bring back your new cartridge. I'm using the same one because this thing's fine. But if you do have a new cartridge, you need to make sure any protective packaging has been removed. There will quite often be a pull tab on the top on the HP Originals and in compatibles and remanufactured ones. I'd always recommend taking that bit off first because that breaks a vacuum in the cartridge and lets the ink. Otherwise, it has a habit of kind of collecting around here. And with that done, you remove the clamp that's on the bottom of the cartridge and you can install the cartridge back into your printer. Now I recommend taking off the protective packaging in that order because if you remove the clamp on the bottom first, the ink that's collected there can kind of rush out onto your desktop and cause issues, stain bits. But taking that pull tab off first should avoid that. With the cartridge in place, we just undo what we did earlier, push down gently on the top of the printer, it'll start coming down by itself, get itself into position, there's no chance of it slamming. And then we put the little face plate back up again, clicks into place, and you see over here, the printer is now checking the cartridges, making sure it's perfectly happy with them and allowing you to continue printing. If you do get any prompts, they're pretty self-explanatory and you can just guide yourself through them with the prompts on the touchscreen. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please do let us know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, please do let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.